they say. Samatex 1996 got the game underway. They're playing from right to left. And quickly they swing into the first attack with Gabriel Buna operating from the left hand side of their attack. That shot goes straight to uh, Dan Ladd. Has a feel of the ball as the game will continue now. Kotoko, don't forget, uh, coming from a game in far away uh, Bechem, where they lost by two goals to nil to the Hunters. And so they need to claw back some pride. It's their first loss this season. But according to the head coach, they put their house in order and he believes that this is a done deal game for the Porcupine Warriors. Here's Xiao, the captain for Samatex 1996. He's been solid and resolute so far this season together with uh, Godwin Abusa. They will be the forces that push the midfielders up front. Throw into Samatex. Flag is up. Yeah. Advantage will now go to Kotoko. And again, it's a reaction game. Say the Zebu looking for a quick reaction, quick response from that loss to Bechem United. Whilst Anor Walker is brimming with full confidence, it feels today will be a brighter day for Samatex. Let's see what options uh, the lads from Samra Boy bring into this game. They are yet to pick up three points from a match. Four matches played, four draws in all the games. Yeah, and of course for Tabatex, they are part of the four teams yet to lose in the Bet Power Premier League after match day four, holding their own against the big guns. Yeah, that is what gives uh, the head coach of uh, Samatex, Anno Walker, a lot of uh, inspiration as they come under pressure. Siao goes down, the advantage will come his way. And of course, it's good to see Isaac Opong back in the starting 11 for the Porcupine Warriors. He comes on with a lot of bright play. Yeah, very good player. And Siao will defend with a class here. Yeah, a little trip from behind from Isaac Opong. And it's good to see Opong. He's back into the fold again after starting the first two matches in the Bet Power Premier League for the Porcupine Warriors. Kayeke, he's been dispossessed nicely and now it's Kumasi Asante Kotoko. And then anytime and every time they come forward, it looks threatening. Careful clearance in, uh, in defence by Xiao, the captain. Emmanuel Edu Xiao's consistency in the uh, defence for Samatex, one of the reasons why they've been able to stand resolute so far this season but here comes augustine japan looking for a decent cross he needs the support all cleared out nicely before richard Buedu could get a connection to it and of course one of the strong points we must also look out for in this game as the center forward for summertex 1996 here come kotoko now into enemy territory eventually cleared out and that's the player i was talking about earlier on for summertex 1996 abubakar seidu He's got some two goals so far this season for Samatex. Yeah, no communication whatsoever. Kotoko was starting to probe and Mukwala got it in the way of uh, Ernesto Sepoku. We've not seen anything so far from Mukwala yet. Early days yet for the Ugandan international. Ball cleared out. Living quite dangerously in the heart of defense. Samatex. Kayeke brings the ball down nicely and gets a return from Gabriel Bona. Edusiao. Bona picks up the pieces. Quite confidence in defense. Samatex 1996. And of course, they've got some experience in there as well. That's one of them, Larry Sumaila. Picking up the pieces now. Kumasa Sante Kotoko. Fans still trooping into the uh, stadium, though. Long ball in by Dan Ladd. Flag is already up. Yeah, quality ball up front from Dan Ladd. And Mensa couldn't see, stay on side, I must say. Bright little play from Kumasa Santikoroko. Switch and play. Delightful pass from Dan Ladd. Just look at that pass with that flag. Behind the defense of Samatek, but... It's Nicolas Mensa. Could he stay on side? Yep, he took off a bit too early and was caught in the uh, offside trap. Ball brought down nicely by Justice Blay, but ball has been taken away from him as Samatex who delve 
into the 18-yard uh, box of their opponents. But again, the flag goes up. Yeah, good play again from Salma Tech, standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the de defending champions. Ball brought down nicely on this part by Isaac Opong. Can he go around Siao? Siao stands tall. Yeah, great defending from Siao that time. Isaac Opong with little step over. This is that tricky, but good defensive play from Siao. And now the opportunity falls for the opponent, but unfortunately couldn't go too far. But with uh, that, Apia would have to come back and uh, help. He's got one assist this season, Gabriel Apia. I'm sure he's looking forward to more goals. And what a battle we have down the right side. And Isaac Opon coming up against the very good, very experienced Emmanuel Dusian. And Sian, of course, part of the Black Galaxy team. Sure, exactly. And that's where he brings that rich experience into the uh, Samatex game. Of course, he's being coached by the Galaxy's head coach as well. Larry Sumaila. Coming forward now slowly but surely. They need to give the supply to the likes of uh, Prince Entry, the likes of uh, Abubakar. Kayeke now. Oh, ball leaves his feet too quickly. And the long balls once again being employed by Kotoko. Larry Sumaila trudges back to help with defense. Ball goes out into touch. Throwing advantage to the Porcupine Warriors. Yeah, again, okay, those lovely passes from deep midfield trying to release Stevie Mukwala. Yes, Seidu Abubakar now. Ibenez Aqua, such an intelligent player. Reminds me of the former Gapoa Hearts of Folk defender Richard Ninoy. Not that well built, but he gets the job done with those intelligence. Well, he's up on his feet and definitely would want to continue the game at least to the end of the very first half. One minute of time added on. Eddie Annan, our centre referee, will be giving us the signal for half time any time from now. Game continues. It's been good enough for Samatex and they would love to go into the half time break with their heads held high. 45 minutes of action here at the Baba Yara Stadium. Yeah. It's been good improvement from Kumasi Asante Kotoko. They've proved, they've created opportunities. Luck, not on their side this time round, but good organization at the back for some artists as well. It has been a battle, and I'm sure we are looking for more in the second half. We definitely will be looking for more in the second half. It's half time here at the Babayara Stadium, and at half time is Asante Kotoko nil, Summer Tex 1996 nil. Match day five action in the Ghana Premier League involving Asante Kotoko and Samatex. Kick off here at the Baba Yara Stadium in a game that promises to bring the best out of the two teams. A push there in the back by Isaac Opong. The referee saw that. Augustine Ejepong and Isaac Opong had done quite well on the right hand side of the Kotoko attack, not being able to find Mukwala. Free kick executed nicely by Tedeku, but again, it has been Edusian, the captain of Samatex, who has stood tall between Kotoko and probably a couple of goals.